So, uh, this is how I make my tree quay. Uh, my tree quay doesn't have that dimple in the middle because if there's a dimple in the middle, that means the thing is not evenly steamed and then the texture is hard in the center because all the water escapes. Now, this is how I do mine, you see? No dimple. Sweet, sweet one. See? <laughs> no dimple. Okay, so um, it's not rocket science. What you need is this. Here, first we'll need about uh, 75 grams of um, rice flour and then you need about 10 grams of wheat flour, one tablespoon of uh, good old oil and uh, a teaspoon or a pinch of salt and 200 ml of uh, just room temperature water. You mix them all in now. Come. Rice flour. We have the plain flour or wheat flour spoon of oil a teaspoon tiny teaspoon of salt and then the uh, 200 ml of room temperature water stir it in slowly this is not it huh watch this is watch the second part of this huh now you need about 200 ml of hot water what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna half cook this better so let it go in slowly it will thicken very very thick slowly this thing will, will come out looking very very thick like a uh, rich um, evaporated milk or full cream milk kind of texture. Roll that in. Lovely. And then you now you uh, put it into a steamer, right? You can steam, right? If you can steam, you can do three quick. And we let that, and we let that steam for about you know, 10, 15 minutes and We'll put it together later. So you use two types of uh, chai po. This first one is the salty one. So, yeah, about I don't know three, four big spoons of it, and this is the the sweet type manis. Um, so don't wash the sweet one because you want more sweet flavor. So give the salty ones a rinse. You get rid of some of the uh, saltiness. Mix the sweet one in. Okay, and then we're ready to fry them. So, um, in a little pan like this, you put in some oil. I add shallot oil. Yeah, so this is for us to roast some or fry some sesame seeds, two spoons of them. Sambal, the nasi lemak type. Don't get the too spicy sambal belacan. It's the uh, nasi lemak Swedish kind of sambal. You can buy them. Yeah, all in, huh? yeah. About uh, about a bowl of them, and then so that's going on. You put in all the sweet and salted Thai pork.
Gonna be sweet, spicy, salty, and um, and then come a little bit of that sweet um, typo, lovely, and that uh, shallot oil. Oh my, the aroma is for man. And then while this is going on, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add two spoons of uh, sesame oil. Yeah, give the stir, cook them through. So all that uh, fragrance is uh, coming out. Wow, lovely red color. But I'm going to darken it a little bit and lend a little bit of uh, dark soy sauce. Just about one spoon or so. Well, that's going on. Slowly add water to braise them now. One spoon, two spoon, three spoon, maybe about four spoons or so. Oh yeah. See all the sambal and chai po in there. Beautiful, oh yeah, yeah, a bit of oils, the uh, shallot oil, the sesame oil, oh nice. So while that's going on, you put in about three big spoons of heavy shredded uh, dust. Just take heavy, you know, you can toast them a little bit and then um, you um, blend them. Feel the flavor going in. Some water in, so you let it um, braise in its natural heat, and let the flavors absorb and marry up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let it rest. Okay, we're kind of done now. Off the fire, and we open. Ooh la la! Look at that. Oh yeah. No dimple, nice, just a little. Oh, lovely tweakway. So now you remove them and then uh, you let them cool. And then we're ready to makan after that. And now they are cooled. So nice. Yeah. So no rocket signs, like I said. And I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, chai pot, this sambal uh, heavy uh, um, <laughs> chai pot topping. Oh man, this is murder, man. Here we go, here we go. Watch. Oh man. See how hopefully is this? Dong, 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 dong. Oops. No need to go market and buy already. <laughs> <laughs>